Guys, welcome back to 2001, which was 17 years ago, and it is Empire Earth. As we are continuing this week as a series of nostalgiasms in Nostalgic Strategy Week. Now, Empire Earth is a game that I did play growing up, and here we have it off of GOG.com. And you can see in that corner, I am running Neo EE. Now, that's because... Uh, when I just installed the GOG version, I'm running Windows 10 and it's got a lot of freezing problems, especially when text appears on the UI. So for example, if you go into game settings and you mouse over here, you see this text box that appears when you mouse over? That froze the game. That froze the game. Uh, very, very strange, but we found a solution. The solution is to uh, install Neo EE and then disable compatibility mode. So when you install it from GOG.com, it has compatibility mode set to Windows XP, as it is 2001. Uh, but just disabling compatibility mode doesn't fix it. You have to install Neo EE, then disable compatibility mode, and then it works. By the way, I tried to get this into HD widescreen. I don't think there's a functioning mod for it at the moment of this recording. Uh, so you can see I am running at 1280 by 960 and it's because you can set it. You can set it higher. You can see there is 1920 by 1080, but what it does is like what it did with the old Battle Realms. Instead of actually opening up your, your view area, it's zoomed in. So if you play at 1920 by 1080, you only see a tiny bit of the gameplay. So we are going to be playing in 4x3 for the most part. Good. Now, in terms of gameplay, there's a bunch of campaigns and you can see I just finished playing through the learning scenario. I just got through the learning scenario because I haven't played this game probably since 17 years ago. So I kind of forgot all the basics. And there are a lot of campaigns here. Greek campaign, English campaign, German campaign, Russian campaign. But you know, my fondest memory of Empire Earth is just playing a random map and building up. But I've been told that the AI is actually pretty brutal. By the way, this is a Neo EE thing. It, it allows you to play this in multiplayer and it port forwards and everything. So that, that's, all, that's all cool and stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a 2v2. You know what? It's Empire Earth. Let's make it a 3v3. And we're going to do a 3v3 with the AI. And also, a 3v3 gives me a bit more of a buffer. <laughs> Is this starting citizens? We start with 20. Can we? What? what are there nicer colors here? There's always the standard. Do we have teal? Why are there so many different types of gray? <laughs> you know, let's, let's play gray. It's a bit more on brand. All right, a dark gray. <laughs> Uh, also, in case you want to know, uh, I am also giving away this week 10 copies of the Stronghold Collection on Discord.gg slash GamerZack. Um, large map? Uh, because Firefly Studios gave me 10 copies for no particular reason. Game variant? I don't actually know what these mean. Difficulty? Guys, do I pick easy or medium? You guys tell me. I'm not going hard. Game speed? You know, let's go fast. Number of wonders for victory. Let's leave it at three. Uh, lock teams. Game unit limit, 500. 500? Yeah, Firefly Studios, ending epoch, nano age, starting epoch. Oh, we have to go Prius. We have to go through as many ages as we can, right? Yeah, Firefly Studios gave me those keys, probably because they're building up to Stronghold Next. By the way, I did ask them, tell me something about Stronghold Next. They said they can't. They can't. Uh, <laughs> resources. None? I don't know what that means. Okay, map type, continental, highlands, large... You know, I hate naval warfare. Are these all from Neo EE? Oh, okay. Zeus, what's X? Tournament islands, small islands, plains, Mediterranean, large islands, highlands, continental. You know, let's go... Plains? Plains sounds cool. Game type, random map. Okay, this, this seems good. This seems good, right? This seems good. Continent... I don't want... Con I don't want to... I don't want to do... You guys are saying highlands. You guys like Highlands? Highlands or Plains? You know, 
I feel a bit warmer now. Let's go for one. That's planes. Okay, start game. Start game. Let, let's see. Now, all I've done since 17 years ago is play the tutorial. Um, send two guys on scout. Um, what can we build? We have to scout around, right? Jeez. <laughs> okay, go go grab food. We have no resources. Um, start chopping trees. Okay, we can do some hunting there. We're not in the safest position. Okay, only so many people can work on stuff there. <laughs> I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel so lost, but okay, another patch of food. How many can fit there? Six, right? So yeah, let's put six on there so we can max out food. I said two guys to scout, but you know, let's bring one guy back so we can just scout the immediate vicinity. Oh, gold is there. Okay. Gold and stone? Oh, gold, iron, and stone all here. Fantastic. After that, we come back here. We're getting food. Let's get more workers. Uh, by the way, workers are important for all sorts of reasons because you need workers to fill into your buildings to evolve them for your town centers and stuff anyway. Now, the reason why I like playing with the AI is because I like to see what the AI does. They go and mine that stuff straight away? Really? How interesting. I thought you would focus on food. You know, so you could... get more villages and then build a settlement when possible? Yeah. So settlement is a resource drop site. I did get through the tutorial, so I know this stuff. Oh, okay, look at this. This is great. So if I just place this right here... We can get iron, gold, and everything. So yeah, let's let's hotkey this to four. I don't know what's the most important resource, but we're gonna go for that. How many berries are in this? Three thousand each. I'm running out of time to choose a civil. Oh right, there's this. Jeez, you choose a civilization when you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I forgot. You have to choose. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, someone say something in chat. Just just say a civilization and I'm, I'll pick it. I'll pick it. Carthage, is it? No. What, what do you want? What do you want? Just say, just say one. In Age of Empires, I like Assyrian, but what do they do? I, I, for, I forgot you pick your civilization when you start the game. Greece? Where's Greece? Ancient Greece. But Greece, Germany, England, Carthage, Carthage, Carthage. A lot say Carthage, so I'm going Carthage. Okay, no idea. Didn't read the bonuses. <laughs> I forgot. That's so That's so stressful. That's so stressful. You're going to start mining that. All right, you just get on the gold, I guess. Let's, let's get some villagers heading over there. Citizens, rather. Okay. Game is hard. Did I finish scouting with... Is this my scout villager? Yeah, L. Go scout. I know that's that's sort of the noob thing to do, but it's okay. Wait, didn't I build... Oh no, it is there. Okay. I, it, buildings go slightly transparent when units are near them, so it gets a bit confusing. So we're gonna stock up on the stone supply here. And then I suppose we focus on getting to the next age. I remember back in the day, what I would do is I would just try and tech up as fast as possible and you'd be able to kill the AI as long as you're just in a future tech level. Now, is it possible to get more food? Because we need food to... I don't see any more berries. But then again, our scouting pattern what do berries look like on the map? Is it like pale green? So the AI is doing all of this. What's that? A house? Can we build houses? Stone wood tower. We're under, We're under attack. Can you can you kill that? Oh, you can kill that. Fantastic. Keep scouting. Okay. Now, how do we get to the next age? I need to 
build things, right? I can build a barracks. Build a barracks. Guys, how do we get to the next stage? By the way, in case you're wondering if I'm blocking anything, just uh, the population cap is right behind me. Which is currently 27 out of 83, so it's not really a concern. So we're gonna mine up a bunch of stone here. I assume gold is the next important resource. So I've got that. So I can get rock throwers and clubmen. Okay. And then, okay, 850 food to get to the next stage. We're already max collecting, basically. Oh, we found our enemy. I probably should rush to the next stage. Oh, you can train scouts? I didn't know there were scouts. You know, let's get a scout. I know it costs 50 food, but let's do that. And I'm not gonna get any of that. But we can build a house. Build a house. And then get back there, yeah. Waypoints do work pretty nicely on this. Our allies are not collecting food at all. Is that not a priority? I'm not sure. Anyway, we're approaching 850. Did I get that house down? I did. Okay. Did I get that scout? Does the scout automatically scout? I don't think so. Wait. Didn't I get a scout? I'm sure I did. I don't see it on the map. Wait, didn't I get a scout? Let me just watch this. Okay, we have a dog. Can you scout by yourself? Under attack. Oh jeez, you're screwed. Okay. <laughs> oh, brutal. Anyway, let's get to the next stage. Um, the AI has no functioning economy, gets free resources. Really? Really? Is that true? Okay, almost. There we go. Next stage. Is that mine? That's mine. Wait, does the AI really not have a functioning economy? Do they just collect resources randomly? Because they're not they're not getting any food. I don't know if they're gonna advance through the ages. <laughs> yeah, it's like CNC AI. AI has unlimited resources. Oh, so they have unlimited resources and they just behave based on the difficulty level. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Now before we run out of food, which there is admittedly a lot of food. Kill that. We're just gonna clear the map of tigers. By the way, I picked planes, but I just realized it's a snow map. I didn't even realize it's a snow map. Is that dog still running around? Oh, the dog outruns the tigers. I think. Do you even have attack? Oh, the canine scouts do not have attack. Okay. Next day, yes. So, stone gathering up. I assume stone gathering is important, so let's do that. Now, what can we build now? Towers. We're gonna do the noob thing. Oh, our dog is here, right? The waypoint was on the stone. Okay. We're gonna do the noob thing and defend with a tower, right there. And then go back to mining stone. Uh, meanwhile, we now have unlocked Spearman and Samson. Samson? Is that a normal unit? What's a Samson? Um, what else? There's no water, barracks, archery range. Let's get one of those down. We can also build a temple, so let's build one of those. Stoma. Stoma. Oh, I remember the, the citizen saying Stoma. Stoma. Samson is a siege unit? Really? <laughs> oh, it's a dude with a tree. It's a dude with a tree, you know? And by the way, we can't... He's got 60 attack, jeez. Uh, to upgrade units, you just look over here and you can click here to upgrade. And I'm just gonna send the Samson down here. Now, we've got an archery range, which allows slingers. Okay. You know, let's... Uh, 
Got four villagers collecting wood over there. This tower is almost done, which is good. Now, Samson, just just bring your tree over. I love how the siege weapon in the Stone Age is a dude with a tree. It, it's literally a dude with a tree. Now, we did scout this out. Kill it. <laughs> it's a dude with a tree. So we got this. So, priests and prophets. Right. Not enough resources, right. We need what? Food, gold? Okay. Is this guy gonna just start... Oh, they got a tower. You know, attack the tower. It's the kingdom of Israel. Okay. Guys, it, it's just a, he's just walking around and showing off. He's like, yeah, dude, look, I carry this tree. Oh, there's a building. I'm gonna stab the building with the tree. Jeez, he's good. Look at that. He got him down to half health. A single Samson. It almost took out the tower. Jeez. Wow, okay. Where? Up here? Oh, you're dead. That's fine. Sorry about that. Okay, how do we get to the next age? Gold 400, iron 400, food 750. So gold and iron needs to be going. Um, so let's get some villagers on that. I feel like we don't have enough villagers, right? I feel like it's it's not enough. You get on gold, okay. Any idle villagers? No, okay. I'm just going to try rush ahead in the text, because I just love seeing all of this stuff. How much was the Samson? 65 gold, 65 wood. That's actually not that expensive. Oh, this deposit is really nice. We've got... Oh, it's just like infinite resources in each of these. That's our... Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, we lost the dog. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, it's just not enough resources, okay. 750 food, okay. So we actually have a lot more food available. How much is this? 175 stone? I probably should put a tower right next to, right, right in the middle of my base, right? Make sure they can't sneak through. So 400 gold, 400 iron, that's a lot of resources. Uh, I should probably shift a couple of these guys over there. Right? Five guys on iron. We'll get a bunch more guys on stone. Yeah, we don't need that much wood. Wood and stone, basically, it's just for towers right now. But it's just stone. We're under attack? Oh, jeez, they sent some clubmen. Okay. Fight, fight, fight for your lives under the tower. <laughs> Guys, there's clubmen. Um, what are they? Spearmen? Clubmen? No, get spearmen. We're higher tech level. Come on, kill him. Got him. Yes. Okay. We need more stone for towers? It's it's okay. You know, yeah, get on stone. How strong are these guys? 135 attack? Okay, well, I guess you go there. You start mining that. Let's get more villagers going on that gold. So you got... The spearman is weaker, but okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, we got attacked. I assume that means uh, they are going through the ages, right? Are they collecting resources from there? I guess so. Okay. What is one of these? Isn't that morale? Oh, do are buildings stronger? A town? Oh, you can upgrade the range of these. 175 stone to upgrade the range. 
You know, sure, let's upgrade the range of those and let's keep the villagers coming. Okay. I think we're doing okay so far, right? We're just struggling to get to the next stage, which we need 400 gold, 400 iron. Yeah, so I don't want to... Oh, these do cost iron, so let's not spend that. This is gold and wood. Food and gold. Okay. Still got one dog going around the map. Plenty of food, though. We just need... Let's get a couple more. So we've upgraded the range. Now it's four plus one, range at maximum. I assume tower range upgrades are just gonna keep through the ages, right? There's a rock, paper, scissor balance. The units, they have different damage and armor types, says Chico Buro. Yes, um, if we look at the, yeah. This is shock armor. This is pierce armor. But it doesn't really say what type of damage these units do. Right? So, like, I assume this is shock damage, but it doesn't actually say. Oh, is it not? Uh, you know, put a settlement right there. Then... Right, it's six per... We want to max out the mining. Okay, so you guys, no, no, you guys go mine that. Okay, and we can get to the next age. Moving on to the Copper Age, the Copper Age. Love the caveman talk, Storma, Palas, Storma. You know, another tower seems like a good idea. And then get onto mining that. Okay. So as long as we advance way ahead of everyone else, we'll be good. Oh, our allies are doing things. Look at that. Look at that, they've got armies and stuff. I'm just sitting here getting to the next stage. This is why I like playing multi, like multiplayer games in, in not 1v1s. You get to see a lot more when you have allies. I'm just worried about food, because we're going to run out of food. And I don't see any other source of food. You know, let's get a Samson. Let's uh, get a Slinger. Let's grab our military units. Sit over here. Oh, are we in the next age? We're in the Copper Age? Okay, so we can upgrade the Clubman to Maceman. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna get one of them. And we can upgrade our Slingers to Simple Bowmans. And then we'll get another one. Fantastic. What else can we build? Jesus, so much stuff. A stable. Get a stable. A granary. That will be important to have. So we have some food. We'll build that when these forage bushes are gone. Yeah. What else do we want to build? A hospital? A university? A fortress? Jeez, this is all Copper Age stuff? I assume there's priest upgrades as well, yeah. So we've got a maceman. We've got... We can get a couple horsemen. Okay, sure. Get another bowman. Get another maceman, okay. So we get a small army and we're just gonna go harass the enemy a little bit. They're literally throwing rocks. They are literally rock throwers. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> They're literally rock throwers. Oh, there's upgrades here. Wood gathering, yes. Um, hunting and foraging gatherates, we're probably not gonna get that. Can we max out that gold there? Okay, so we have a a little bit of a force here. And we're just gonna grab a couple things on the back. 
Now you guys, let's let's go do something. Let's try attack. Because there's this, and that's a little annoying, right? Can we catch the... Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. That's fine. Attack him. Attack him. Can we? Can we even do this? Come on, Samson. <laughs> they built towers right here outside my base. Jeez. Oh, it's targeting Samson there. Towers are pretty good. I think we just need more Samsons. Yeah, let's let's get a bit of an army, shall we? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Now, if that thing doesn't target the Samson, we can actually get this tower too. Oh, they're attacking! Oh, jeez, they're attacking! Hit that guy with a tree. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Samsons are so good! Okay, um... They haven't upgraded the towers, though. Now, we'll wait for a few more military units here. Now, um... Do I have any idle villagers? No. Uh, to get to the next stage, I probably have to build some things, right? Fortress... 350 wood. Yeah. Drop a fortress right here. Yeah. And you guys just change the rally points. So, okay, we got a couple of Samsons now and a bit more of an army. Wait, auto-saving dyslexia. Okay. okay, let's go attack again. I want to keep this area clear. Now. Is that... They're already building walls? That's fine. Let's, let's get this tower down. It's already repaired. Okay, wait, can we build walls? Oh, we can already build walls. I see. I guess we just want to wall this off, right? Yeah. Okay, there. Go, go, go wall that off. Now you guys, go kill that. Are archers good against clubmen? Archers look pretty good against clubmen. Yeah, just, just fight whoever you want. You know, set unit behavior, aggressive. Ah, oh, the sound of the the Samson. <laughs> All right, yeah, just just mess them up, like thin thin their numbers. Oh, they have their own their own Samson. Yeah, hit him! Come on, kill him. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, fortress, forty units can fit in there. What's going on? Oh, we're under attack. Oh, okay. Oh, what nice timing. Go stab that guy, please. <laughs> Jeez, villagers are so much better. Okay, wow, okay. Okay. I send some Samsons this way. So we want to get a granary. Can I fit the granary right here? Uh, well, that sucks. Just put it there first. Okay. Get that going. Oh, we can get to the next stage. Next stage! Bronze! Let's get to the Bronze Age. We built that wall there. Okay, you know, I kind of want more towers. We'll probably need a tower, like, right there. Okay, good. Wait, since when were the... Oh, these things reproduce? I didn't realize that. Are all of our units dead? All of our units are dead, by the way. This fortress doesn't actually attack, does it? It's okay. We're going to the next stage. We've walled that off. Didn't I tell someone to go build that? Oh, we need more wood. Any resource we're a little high on? Just forage that. That's fine. We need more wood. 
We need more wood. Okay. Don't bring a tree to a horse fight, says so Snow Warning. <laughs> What's the fortress for? I actually have no idea. Guys, can someone tell me what the fortress is for? So we actually got attacked from the back there, because we've got towers covering this area. Oh, it's we're in the Bronze Age! Look at that! Um, okay, first thing. I want to just start getting some villagers on trees. Now, what is this? Heroes, Sargon. We can upgrade him to Alexander. Gilgamesh, we can upgrade him to Hannibal. Metal casting, gold gathering is improved. Iron gathering is improved. We actually need more iron gathering. What's this? Upgrade tower? Let's upgrade the tower. We're a noob. We need towers. Okay, now you three get to chopping wood. You three get to building farms. Really, it doesn't place that... Can I not replant farms? Okay, there we go. So we're gonna upgrade these towers. They're currently primitive. Oh, it takes a long time. Oh, you know, I, 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 no, I, I got some citizens first, right? Of course. So, okay, so now our maceman can become a short swordsman. Our spearman can become a phalanx. We can get elephant archers. So we're gonna get one of those. And we can get bronze cavalry. We're gonna get one of those. Just, let's just have a couple military units around, yeah? Oh, we need more food, don't we? Yes, you know, as you wish. Okay. Okay. Sire. There's some. Okay, good, good. So we're now currently upgrading the towers. Yes. Good, good. Fortress is StarCraft bunkers. Oh, you put units in there? Okay, I didn't know that. I put an elephant in there. <laughs> Alright, look at that. We've got copper towers. By the way, can you repair that and then go back to cutting trees? Okay, so we've got a bunch more people on chopping trees there. We'll probably do... Oh, we need more food. We'll get on that first. Actually, no. Just go straight there. You get on that. What's going on? Oh jeez, there's so many of them! <laughs> um... Jeez! Guys, um... Um... Chariot Archer. Uh... Bronze Cavalry. Okay, okay, okay. We have no food. Yes. Certainly. Are these enemies too? Ready, oh, our allies helping us! Guys, the ally our allies helped us. Replant farms. Farm gatherings. Oh that's so useful. I totally need that. Okay, well we need to get like people back on there. Can you repair that and then get back to that? Yeah. Are you? Okay, you get to that. Okay, our superior units absolutely slaughtered them, which is good. That's good, that's good. Because these guys, yeah, okay. So, lesson learned, cavemen can't go against <laughs> Copper Age units. Um, hunting and foraging gathering, no we don't need that. Oh, we can upgrade wall and tower to bronze? Stone 100? Yeah, do that! Let's get Bronze Age Towers! And let's uh, get this, because we just need the food. Transport at maximum. Can we put people inside the granary? What does that do? Yes, yes. Like, I can populate the granary? Render attack? 
What was that? Okay, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We've got these towers, which have 1,750 health. Six range and 75 damage. Okay, I think I think we're good. Um, we're still low on that. So let's max that out. Actually, let's just set that so then we can put two there. Let's max out all of this mining. We need one more on this. So this is going to max out all of this mining, right? Six, six, six. Then we just have... Villagers go chop trees. Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, now, can we build something? A hospital would be nice to heal up our units. So I'm just going to put the hospital right here. That makes sense. And then you can go chop that tree. We'll keep the villagers coming for the wood. We've got that upgrade. How many... Oh, it's like... 300,000 units of food? Okay. Uh, how do I see the AI so far? Personally, I'm impressed as an AMD Online. Well, it's better than the Definitive Edition AI for Age of Empires. Ooh, that video is causing some waves, huh? <laughs> Alright. Um, I would like to get to the next stage, but I think we need to build some buildings. Grand attack. Are these enemies? Are they? Okay, let's, let's kill you. Let's kill you. Don't kill my villagers. Okay, good. It seems like we're gonna need a tower up that way. What were you doing? All of you just build that and then return to mining stone. Okay. Huh. Should I get these upgrades? No. What What did I want to do? I wanted to... Right. You guys hang out near the hospital, which does... Hospital healing rate and range. Plus three citizen attack and increase their HP. Oh, let's do that. Um, do I have any... Okay. What do we need to build to get to the next stage? Maybe a university? Yeah, build that. And then... Get back to chopping trees. Okay, looking at our allies, this autosave is a bit annoying, but I guess it's fine. They're just building stuff everywhere. Okay, but it doesn't look like I'm keeping ahead on tech, <laughs> right? Build further out, the resources run things, and the AI has way more covered area. Uh, okay, there we go. 1,200 food, 625 gold. Let's fight, shall we? Oh, kill that priest. Kill the priest first. Okay, good. Okay, they're starting to... do stuff. Uh, can I hold this off? I think I can. What were you from? Okay. So it seems like we're doing okay. Is that an enemy? Okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. These attacks are a little scary, but we're actually fine. Um, I feel like I need more villagers, right? on food. Can I just As you stick wish. a granary right there? And then just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, so to get to the next stage, we basically need food. Uh, which units do not require food? Gold and wood. Simple Bowman, Golden Wood, Chariot Archers. Let's get those. Food, food, food. Everything else takes food. Chariot Archers, just like Age of Empires. 
<laughs> this little force of units is actually very, very good. Oh, you need healing. Now, what are the universities for? Building line of sight, iron wood. Yeah, get that. University range. Universities prevent people from being converted. Increase building HP, stone and wood. I don't think we need that quite yet. Maybe we do. Get that. Ground to attack again. Oh, they're coordinating attacks. You know, can I ask for help? Yes, we can ask the ally for help. Damn it. Well, let's let's try and clear these guys off. Attack. Set unit behavior. Yeah, aggressive. Go stop them, please. They're still bringing Samsons. Okay, I think we cleared that off. Very good. We lost some... Some citizens, not to worry, not to worry. We just need 1,200 food, which we will be getting soon enough. Second granary with a bunch of farms seems to have done it. Do we need one? One, two, three. Oh, look, our ally sent some rock throwers. <laughs> Maybe save the villagers. Yeah, probably, probably should save the villagers more. These bronze cavalry are good, though. Okay, so we've almost got enough food. Just a little bit more. And we have a bit more of an army here. of these that I train? A lot. <laughs> okay. Almost three more food. Come on. There we go. Next age going to the Dark Ages. Da going to the Dark Ages now. Alright. Alright. So there's really no reason to expand because the resources are so unlimited. That's kind of crazy. But look at this. Are allies just going to sit right here? Are those... Oh, these are enemy towers. I see. Okay. That's a thing. This is all maxed out? This is all maxed out, I think? Wait. I thought I got enough... Can I get more citizens here? Oh, what are these? Rams? War elephants. Profit. They have profits? Profits have like magic spells and stuff. You know, let's get a profit. <laughs> I probably should build more houses too, but... You know, let's grab one guy. Oh, stone wood. Are we the next age? I think we are. We're in the dark age. Awesome. Uh, now what else can we build? I never know what we need to do to get to the next age. Are there certain upgrades? What what unlocks the next age progression? Cataphract. Composite bows. Pylum. Vikings. Barbarians. Oh wow, okay, so we actually have a lot of units we can go for here. Just get a bit of everything, shall we? Oh, we don't need one of those. Crossbowmen, yes. Persian Cavalry. War Elephant. Okay, okay, let's spend all of our resources. We've got this dude who can do things like volcanoes and stuff because that's that's fair. This, this prophet can summon a volcano, by the way. What is this? The enemy actually built a wall like going right up through there. That's kind of weird, but okay. Uh... 
what did I want to do? I wanted to put another tower right here. Certainly. Yeah, do that. Oh, I've been sending villagers into the granary. What, what actually happens? Let's send one more into there. I don't know what happens when you fill it with transport at maximum. I don't know what that means. Hmm. This game has so many units. Yeah, it's, it's confusing. Is that a viking? Oh, okay. What are we short on? Pop cost? Oh. Wait, how do we boost up pop cost? We need to... Is it settlements? Yes. What do I need to get to the next stage? I can't remember. Yes. Middle Ages. Is that the next one? Oh, build a siege factory maybe? Anyway, we probably should do, like, some kind of attack, right? Since we are... Where should I go? Wait. Outstanding. Okay. For the Empire. For the Empire. Now, we don't have any siege weapons, but maybe we could get our ally to attack with us. Can we flare? Is this their base? Okay. Blue can't go, but red can. But uh, why? Blue, blue's closer. Oh well. So at least we stopped them from settling here and scared them off. But we don't have any uh, siege weapons. Exceeds yes. pop limit. Yes. There's nothing else we can build. Guys, how, how do I how do I get to the next stage? Do we need an upgrade? Is that? Oh, jeez. All right, let's fight. This is. Not good. Not good at all. Um, war elephants, let's try their tactic. Elephant archers. Yeah, let's let's do that. Just let's, let's get lots of elephants. Yeah, that's lots of elephants. This is all that survived. <laughs> that response means red can hardly assist, yeah. I don't even know how to get to the next stage. Yes. Illuminates water self-healing reveal buildings? Alright. Yeah, I, I don't know. Hmm. So I filled that granary up with people. Granary improved. They're under attack. Oh dear. Hmm. I have a feeling I don't actually know what I'm doing. It's just a guess. It's just a guess. Now it's very difficult to lose, but this doesn't feel good, does it? Huh, huh. Getting carried, yeah. 
And I still don't know how to get to the next stage. I remember I used to just speed ahead, but there's nothing else I can build. Temple of Zeus, self-healing. I don't know what that means, but we could build it. <laughs> sure, right there. Let's, let's do that. Um, hmm. Villager in there. For the king. With my life. Okay, everyone just try and heal up here. Can I upgrade that? Yeah, we could. Um, in order to unlock the research for the next epoch, you have to build two additional buildings. They can be buildings you already have, and two can be the really, yes. really. You just have to build two buildings. What a weird mechanic. There's another stable. Build an additional two buildings. Do towers count? <laughs> Probably not, right? Does the Temple of Zeus count? It never told me that. Or maybe I missed it in... Uh... Maybe I missed it. Turn there. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get enough of this. Oh, I just built a stable and now I can go to the next stage. How did I not know that? I mean, it wasn't really made clear. Yes. Oh, you guys all stopped mining? Yes. Yeah, we did lose all of our miners, actually. <laughs> oh well, next stage. Um. We need what? Okay, next stage. Let's go to the Middle Ages. Perhaps I, if I coordinate my attack with one of our allies, we could actually get something done. Any chance we could attack here? My troops are ready, we'll do our best. Yes, yes, come on, let's attack. Come on, guys. Let's do something. With all my heart. Now, I don't know what the AI thinks here. Are we just rushing through? Yeah, come on, let's... With all my heart. Oh, come on. That's how you... Alright, let's just do our best. Bronze Towers. Okay, are we in the next stage? Not yet. Oh, is that the villager? I thought I got rid of that villager, but okay. <laughs> the death sounds. Bleah. Well, we have some elephants. Okay, the war elephants do a much better job. What is this range? Persian cavalry? Okay, okay. Their range is insane! Really? Composite bows can shoot that far? That one chariot archer is, is helping us out. Okay, okay, so they're streaming some units. We are in the Middle Ages, though. Oh, look at these buildings. Oh, nice. Okay, so we built this. Temple to Zeus. It just said self-healing. I don't know what that means, but okay. So if we just build two barrackses, does that actually work? I don't know what's going on there, but let's... Oh, we can't get cavalry archers? We can't get elephants anymore. Where? What? Are they trying to build more towers here? Go attack that. So we can't get elephants anymore. Um, we could get pikemans and long swords. We could upgrade to cavalry. Cavalry archers are good, right? Cavalry archers are good. Cavalry archers and knights sound like a good idea. 
Are we under attack? Oh, we are under attack. So we just built... Jeez! Uh, we just built two buildings and then... Okay, so just build any two buildings. Okay, we... We probably need... Our units back home, right? <laughs> this is... This is so... So jank. Self-healing equals all units regenerate. Fantastic. Are these idle villagers? Yeah, we, we just kind of need a tower, like, right? Yeah. Can you build right there? Oh, gee, oh, come on! You know... I feel like I've learned a lot today. I feel like I've learned a lot. Uh... <laughs> um, important lessons for, for future games, I think. Uh, can you just stab that? Okay, thank you. Uh, hmm. But I think, I think, yeah, I'm kind of screwed, right? Just the feeling. I mean, maybe not screwed, I mean, I'm sure it's recoverable, but I don't feel like continuing this game. <laughs> uh, but... You know, after not having played this game for, like, 16, 17 years, it's all starting to flood back to me. It's all starting to come back. Yeah, I'm definitely going about this the wrong way. It's so hard to keep up with all the units. I'm, I'm so used to, like, smaller RTSs. Like Age of Empires, StarCraft. There's just not this many units. But you know, if this got a definitive edition or something, it'd be pretty nice, right? It'd be pretty good. You know, just just hit this building a little bit. Because I'm definitely not... Wow. Heavy rams. I'm definitely not keeping ahead on the tech here. <laughs> Probably because I, I forgot how to get to the next stage, but... Uh... But I think that's been a good look at Empire Earth, right? If I play this again, I will not play like this. Thankfully. Uh, <laughs> the game hasn't aged well graphically. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. And also, if you put yourself into widescreen resolutions, it um, it just zooms in rather than expanding your, your viewport. So... Um, you know, you don't really want to set it to 1080p because then you'd only be able to see, like... I think it's like that much, right? If you set it to 1080p, it zooms it in. So that will be how much you can see. Uh, not yeah. not quite effective, not quite effective. Hmm. But anyway, I think that's a good look. And I think that's a good place to bring today's stream. And if you're watching this on the VODs, you might not know that this was a nostalgic strategy week here on the GamerZack channel where we did play Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. Um, what did we play on day two? We are under attack. Guys, what did we play on? We played Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. We played Command and Conquer 1995. Uh, we played Empire Earth. And we played... I can't believe it was like a couple... Civ 3! Three, Civ 3! We played Civilization 3 for this nostalgic strategy week. So if you'd be interested in checking out more nostalgasms, you might want to check out the Nostalgasm series I have on the channel, or Abandonware Adventures, where I cover games or play games which you can no longer buy. And since this is a strategy video, you might be interested in more strategy games like Metal Fatigue, Chaos Island, Dark Colony, Warcraft 2, Warcraft 1. Maybe you'd be interested in seeing videos on those games, which... Uh, check out the playlists. Nostalgasms and Abandonware Adventures. Ah, it's all, it's all available. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, do remember there are giveaways for the Stronghold Collection over at discord.gg slash gamezack, along with many other giveaways. It's good, it's good. It's been a fun week. And this has been a fun stream. Uh, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. 
But you know, this is still fun. This is still fun. And remember, if you want to play this and you're on Windows 10, it might be freezing a lot, especially when you like mouse over. Uh, I think it crashed one time when I brought up the menu. Yeah, see, when you mouse over and that text appears, it freezes. It freezes completely. Um, so remember, install Neo EE and then uh, disable compatibility mode. And that should work for the GOG version. That's a tooltip. Yeah, the tooltips when you mouse over things, that, that seems to freeze the UI or freeze the whole game. So, yeah, just so you know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for joining. This has been Empire Earth from 2001 for a nostalgiasm. And I will see you in the next video.